Well, hello and welcome to Toaster, the new home of the English Greyhound Derby, backed by Star Sports. Um, this is a special preview for the big race, and I have what I term the brains trust to go through uh, the main contenders. We're going to start with the English uh, challenge for the Greyhound Derby, and I'll introduce the panel. On your uh, far left is from Star Sports, Martin Chapman. Uh, we've got leading trainer Kevin Hutton, and next door to me uh, is Ian Fortune, friend and colleague for many, many years, Irish Greyhound journalist, uh, of course. So, uh, Ian, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll leave you for this section. We'll maybe drag you in towards the end of it, but we're going to kick off with the, the main English challenges uh, for the classic and to start with you Martin in terms of the betting where are we at well our shortest price one is Droopy's Buick at 14 to 1 obviously fully deserves to be there with what he's shown you know he's got that second season experience been there seeing it done it got the t-shirt at this sort of level really I mean obviously currently at time of this video going out he's in the Scottish Derby final on Saturday evening you know about the track record there at Shawfield the other night he's got everything he really needs been around here before on training the championship night in the last race and Got a bit of trouble, had no chance at the traps. I think when Peregrine Falcon cut straight across him in, mm. in track three and he got no one at all, but he's got it in the book, you know, he's got the proven form to be round here. He's certainly our, say, leading English price to run at the moment at 14 to 1. Mm -hmm. The rest brings in Bubbly Bluebird, who obviously has that great class as a pup, but I'm not convinced Bubbly Bluebird gets to 400 metres at full pace. To me, he's a bit of a short runner and he's got a lead to win Bubbly Bluebird in my, my eyes. He's a, he's a 20 to 1 chance, but to be fair, I'd be like to get him Bubbly Bluebird in the book. If I'd imagine, want to lay. owned by the Champagne Club, Champagne plenty Club, of support. Champagne Club, exactly, plenty of support. They're pretty popular. You know, if it wins their derby night, there'll be more people in the middle than you can fit out there. They'll be, uh, you know, they're in their hundreds, I dare say. And Steve Flewin, I know, is a good friend of the uh, the boss, Ben, so I dare say he'll be here in on mass if it does get to the derby final. And then, of course, we come to the uh, the Wildcat with the man I left there. Um, mm. A dog when I care, thinks the absolute world of uh, 25 to 1. Was the track record order here till last week? Let's let's bring the big man in. The Rodos Wildcat. I mean, must have pleased you really in recent races. Track record. I mean, still learning the game as well. He is. He's very much still learning the game. Mm. But um, we we just tried to drop him down in class for one or two races to to bring him forward. You know, a little bit more experience. And um, thankfully, he's done the done the trick. He's won his last three. Um, say at the time he'd done the track record when he won his last race. And um, that dog can only improve as well. So. Um, God willing, he's a serious contender this year. And what's the plans between now and uh, the derby starting for, for something like the Wildcat? He'll certainly have one more race, that'll be on Saturday night, he's going to be entered for Saturday um, and then probably after that, depending if we need the qualifying round, which I assume we will, um, with the amount of entries we're likely to get, um, probably just be one more trial in between and, and obviously his work at home and that'll, that'll see him about right. Now, I just want to get your thoughts on uh, the likes of Droopy's Buick. Um, you were in that race, Trainers Championship, mm. Peregrine Falcon won, Velvet Blaze, your Greyhound was second, uh, Buick in third. Taking a step back, um, you're obviously impressed as we all are by the Greyhound of the Year. What's your feelings about him going into the derby? I think he's, he's got to be one of the best English contenders, hasn't he? Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, fabulous year last year, obviously. Um, I mean, Trainers Championship night, you can put a line through that, you know, he didn't get any sort of a run, um, but I actually thought he ran well. Once, once he got clear, he ran well to finish third. Um, and he's, he's flying up at Scotland at the minute, isn't he? So, um, obviously a top-class dog, and uh, I think they'd fancy him to go very well. And in terms of your own challenge, you'll have how many entries? We're think? hoping to have a team of five. Um, Dorota's Dalmar, he doesn't look suited to the 500 uh, metres mm -hmm. here, so he'll, he won't be in the team anymore, but um, Velvet Blazers are definite. He loves it around here, he's got some good form. Um, we're hoping to have Empress Katie back from injury in time, uh, Harachi Scotty as well, so um, yeah, it's a good little team there, but obviously headed by the by the Wildcat dog. Okay, and we just bring in Ian for this, I mean, you've you've had a chance to see some of the trial states, of course, and, and concentrating just on the English challenge, the likes of Buick, the likes of Bluebird, anything catching your eye? Yeah, I like him, and I think a lot of people in Ireland mm. like him, um, mm -hmm. what he did to good news in the semi-final of Scottish Derby, not too many dogs do that. Mm. Um, I think when we're looking at the English challenge, sorry, the home challenge, um, we're, we're fearing the upcoming dog rather than the likes of Buick. We know what he's capable of. Yeah. There's obviously huge talent there. I just think we might have his measure. Okay. But it's the likes of the Woohoo, Wildcat. Yeah. Obviously, we're going to refer to that litter a lot. They're, they're serious. It um, is amazing. Some of your inexperienced yeah. dogs that are, are coming up that step that really look like going to be suited by the 500 metres here at Toaster. It's not a Wimbledon derby, it's a different derby. And uh, many would say 
the trip probably suit a lot of the Irish contenders, but there's a few English dogs there this year, the strong running greyhounds that, that can do it from the front. I like that. And just to fill in the gaps with Woohoo, trained by Charlie Lister, mm -hmm. a man who needs no introduction sure, in, in so terms certainly, of certainly not. English Derby history with, with, with uh, those magnificent seven wins. Uh, and Woohoo, you know, showed himself to be a classy animal up at, at Shawfield during the Scottish Derby as well. Mm -hmm. So you'd suggest he would be the, you know, the it, pick of our, pick it's, of ours. It, it's because we still don't know what's to come. You know, we've seen what he can do to this point, and there's perhaps further improvement there. And that's what worries you. You know, because it's all well and good saying, oh, you know, Buick has the second season. We know what he can do, mm -hmm. and he does it regularly. We just feel that our best against him might just have his measure. What's Ireland's feelings about Bubbly Bluebird? Brilliant puppy season, <sighs> fantastic in the all age Ken Derby. Mm -hmm then beaten in the Trainers' Championship, misses the Scottish Derby on the comeback trail. They love him dearly still. They've not lost faith. And there's plenty that highly mm. respect him, including myself. I, I think I think it's unfair to the dog. He was actually a little bit overhyped. Um, we liked him, just people were sort of almost waiting for him to be knocked down because of the hype. Um, I'm going to rule out anything I've seen recently. I, I think he's going to be made for Toaster, the inside run. And if he hits the lids with any dog, he is the pace to go around in front. And it's all well and good saying perhaps the 500, I think he'll get to the line. I don't think he's going to be stopping. He may not come from behind off the last bend or the third bend, but if he's in front off the last bend, it's going to take a fair dog to pass him. Well, I think we'll just leave it there for, for the minute. Of course, that's the English Derby Challenge. We'll, we'll talk generally about uh, the type of ground that's going to be required to win here at Toaster. But um, for the meantime, thanks to the guys.